I'm Lauren with Pack Hacker, and today we're taking a detailed look at the TomTalk Urban Sling Bag, which I've been testing for the last two weeks. If you found this video helpful, hit subscribe so we can keep making content to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. The outside of the sling is fairly simple. You can see the design is pretty sleek. On the uh, both sides here, we've got like two little hooks. And those are if you want to like attach additional gear, use like a carabiner or something like that. They aren't like adjustable or anything. So it's not like they are compression straps or anything like that, but they don't really get in the way. Um, so I didn't really have an issue with anything like that. But in general, I mean, it's fairly simple. You can see this like Cordura fabric little tag back here, the ballistic. Um, and this is a really nice and durable uh, material sling. So it feels very, nice feels very well built there's a little bit of tom talk branding on the side here but overall pretty subtle and then you can see that this bottom here is a different material from the top it has a little bit more of a shine to it and overall it just kind of has a nice sleek look that makes it look a little bit like an urban bag hence the name the harness system on this sling is fairly simple as well so on the back panel here uh, back panel here we don't have any like mesh or anything like that it is just pretty simple rests right against your body there's a little bit of padding courtesy of this back panel um, but overall fairly comfortable to wear i would say that's actually this uh, sling strong suit is its comfort and then we have this big duraflex buckle right up top you can kind of hear it's like a little plasticky noise if you tap on it, but it is really fairly simple to use, pretty lightweight um, and works really well, feels really secure. And then we have this kind of just like seatbelt like material for the strap itself and it adjusts nice and easily, nice and smooth. So I would say that this slings strong suit is really in its comfort. And part of that, or most of that actually, I would say comes down to how it actually fits on your body when you're wearing it. And that is courtesy of, you can see that these kind of non-traditionally are these straps are attached on like one is on the side and one is on the top and that impacts how it carries on your body. So let's get into that right now. So the sling is designed to be worn on your back primarily. So you can see that when I'm turned around here, the way that it's hanging is kind of like at a very sharp angle. And that actually is really comfortable. The strap here kind of falls down at my waist and then the top of the strap is at my shoulder. So it almost feels like a one shouldered bag more than it does a sling. But then when you flip it to your front, because of the way those straps are positioned and the way that they're attached, like one on the side and one on the top, it hangs horizontally. So this makes it really easy to get to your gear. When you go in there and grab something and try and get it out, it's not gonna just like fall everywhere or fall down, especially at this angle, that's a pretty sharp angle. So what this does mean is that it's not quite as ambidextrous. So if you wanted to wear it primarily on your front over the other shoulder, it will hang at that angle. But when you flip it to the back, it'll be horizontal. So if you wanna wear it on your back primarily, you do have to wear it over one shoulder versus the other. In terms of secondary compartments, we've got two options essentially. So we'll start off with this first one here. This is the front pocket. All of these zippers here have these nice high balan zipper pulls, um, nice and easy to grab, super comfortable, but not really in the way otherwise. I mean, this one doesn't like actually tuck out of the way. You can see when it's fully zipped closed, like it, you can really shove it in there if you want to, but it's just, for me, it always kind of popped out. So just kind of keep that in mind. I don't think it looks bad, but um, if you hate zipper pulls, maybe that's, a different issue for you. They are YKK as well. So nice and quality there. And this front compartment has two liner pockets here. They're just kind of slip pockets. One of them, I just have my AirPods in. The other one um, is currently empty, but what I would do here is like put chapstick or something like that. And then we have a key leash for a set of keys. I will take this off here, um, but a nice little easy to use clip there and a nice and long leash as well. So the one thing with this that I definitely think is worth keeping in mind is that the more you pack the inside compartment and the main compartment, the harder it's gonna be to get gear into and out of this front compartment. So I found that it was really 
almost like too slim. It covered kind of like the bottom, it just covers the bottom half of the sling, right? There's no like additional top space or anything like that. So if you have anything that's slightly larger and it's a little bit too big for that zipper, you're kind of out of luck there. Um, there's no like additional room to work with. But uh, you can kind of see that like when I'm like opening it here, it almost felt like my hands were limited into like how much I could actually get my hands in that pocket. It just felt a little bit clunky to me. So if you are going to, um, obviously my keys aren't the most minimal, but so if you do have more minimal keys and that's really great, um, that might work a lot better for you. Uh, but for me, I found this, this pocket, I didn't really like use it a ton just because I didn't really love going in and out of it. And I felt like everything that I had fit pretty well into the main compartment. So um, I can kind of show you what that ends up looking like. And then with this back pocket here, there's a little bit of a lip to completely cover that zipper so it stays nice and hidden. And then this is a great spot to put like a passport or something like that. Nice security pocket. There's uh, no padding right here, but there is padding on this side. So overall it is pretty comfortable. I would keep it to flat items in this pocket just because of how flat it is and it's gonna be flush against your body. Um, but in general, this was uh, a fairly easy, simple pocket to use. It was really just this uh, front pocket here that got a little bit clunky depending on what gear was inside and how it was all packed out. So this main compartment opens with dual zippers. We've got these Hypalon zipper poles and it's really nice because you can access it from either side depending on how this thing is on your body. So if you do want to hang it off your side where it's you know in your front primarily, which means that it's going to be hanging at a pretty steep angle, then you just move the zippers to one side, you can unzip them pretty easily and just kind of slip your hand in and get to whatever you need, even though it is at that sharper angle. So going on to the actual compartment itself, when you open it up, the first thing that you see is my Nintendo Switch. So TomTalk is pretty good about integrating these sorts of devices into their carry. And so this is really great if you do travel a lot with your Switch, if you use it as a source of entertainment at the airport or on the plane, or even just kind of everyday use, this sling is really great for that. So this is the regular size Switch. These Joy-Cons do detach and there is a little bit of space on either side in addition to the back and the front. And then there's padding on the back side, but not on this front slip side. But it feels really secure in here. I never really felt like this was like at danger of, you know, damaging anything on the actual switch itself. And then this pocket also fits like an e-reader or something like that if you do like to switch it up or if you want to double up or something like that. But the, um, the thing to note is that when you open this up, you can see the first thing you see, right, is my switch. And that means, or it kind of points to a problem of the access. So with that switch being kind of almost in the way, it's really hard to get to the gear that's in front of it. So you've got two pockets on that little liner. There are um, two mesh pockets. In one, I just have my wallet. And in the other, I have a little bit or a stick of chapstick. And then in front of that, in the rest of the open space is just my phone. So this phone actually, it's iPhone 13, doesn't fit super well in this main pocket. You can see it like barely gets in there. My keys obviously are a little bit in the way, but I found that it was just best to kind of keep it tucked in there. But if you were to take the switch out, just to kind of give you a frame of reference, taking the switch out just gives you that much more access to the inside of this compartment. And it just makes it feel a lot more smooth and like you have more space. Because as I was mentioning earlier, it, the more you pack into this main compartment, the harder it's gonna be to pack out the front little zippered pocket and kind of vice versa. So if you really load up this front pocket, it does cut a little bit into the space. You can see like that bulk right here is where my keys actually are. So you kind of have to figure out how you want to configure everything in order for it to feel the most natural. And if you do carry a lot of things, I would say try and make them a thinner almost because I, I feel like it it does really well if everything's like slotted in very nicely and it's kind of like blocky. So I'll, I'll give you an example. So I've got a notebook over here. And if you put that notebook right in the center, it fits nice and snug. But if you start to add kind of oddly shaped items, they're gonna have a harder time fitting in here nicely. So you do have a little bit of a limitation there, but if your everyday carry or your travel carry and everything that you like to bring with you on the plane is pretty consistent, then I think this is a great fit. I would say that 
in general, the sling does really, really well on the comfort side of things. I really enjoyed wearing it. It felt kind of like a hug sometimes, um, just the way that it fit and it hung very nicely and it was very like predictable almost about like where it was gonna be on your body and how it fit and it was easy to take on and off and everything. But the one thing that felt a little clunky to me was that access because I felt like I was kind of, I was always kind of fighting to figure out where my things were or like if I opened this up, it kind of fell forward and then I'd have to push it back. And so that was a little bit on the clunky side for me. But in general, if comfort is the biggest impact for you and being able to carry a switch, then this is a really great option for that. So there you have it, the TomTok Urban Sling Bag. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next one.